how does the angle of a solar panel relative to the sun affect the amount of power it produces? This is an important question to ask when building a solar-powered car for the Junior Solar Sprint Competition, especially since there are kits available that attach the solar panel to the body of the car at a fixed angle. A solar panel generates the most power when it is perpendicular to the sun's rays. So, if you build a flat car with the solar panel mounted directly on top, the panel will generate the most power, and the car will go the fastest when the sun is directly overhead. However, if the sun is lower in the sky, then its rays will hit the solar panel at an angle. It will generate less power, and therefore the car will go slower. Optionally, you can demonstrate the solar panel's output using a multimeter to measure the current. You see here that when I point the panel directly at the sun, it generates a current of almost 2 amps. As I tilt the panel away from the sun, the current drops to almost zero. To get the most power in this case, the solar panel would need to be tilted towards the sun. However, this could introduce other problems, like making the car more top-heavy, or increasing air resistance and making the car more vulnerable to gusts of wind. This is a design decision you will have to make when building your car. Now, since you probably won't know exactly where the sun will be in the sky or the direction the racetrack will be facing on competition day, you might want to consider building a car with an adjustable panel so you can point the panel directly towards the sun and change it if you need to. There are several different ways you could do this. For example, you could mount your panel on a spring or a piece of flexible wire. You can also make your own springs by coiling a piece of stiff wire around a pencil. You can then bend the wire in different directions to change the angle of the panel and point it towards the sun. You can experiment with other flexible materials, like bendy drinking straws, but be careful not to use something that is too flexible, or it might not support the weight of your panel, or the panel might bounce around when your car moves. If you're using wood to build your car, you can make a rotating joint by drilling holes in two pieces of wood and connecting them with a screw and a wing nut. Loosen the nut to adjust the angle of the two pieces, and then tighten it again to hold them in place. Ultimately, whether you build a car with an adjustable panel and how you do it is up to you. There's no right or wrong way. To learn more about the Junior Solar Sprint, including how to build a basic car and how to enter the competition, check out the links in the description below this video.